Hi friends. <laughs> it's really bright out here. I don't know why. My eyes are having a hard time adjusting. Um, I am struggling, just so you guys know. Um, I'm struggling with uh, either it's my computer or iMovie or YouTube. We're a combination of all of that. Today's video of Abby's surgery went up and there's a duplicate scene in it. Jason caught it. Um, I rewatch my videos over and over and over again. Look at the footage over and over again to make sure it's all fine. And I don't know what happens to it right when it renders and anyway, so I'm frustrated, but I have th like three videos to edit and I can't get, I can't get iMovie to open up. So I'm frustrated the whole process. So if there's a delay in videos coming up here soon, I'm so sorry. Not much I can do about it. Still working on it. But in the meantime, I have this really happy man. What are you talking about? Who really, really wants to come help me gather greenery for our <laughs> church's Christmas party. Oh, that's what this is for? Yeah. But it's not raining today. I have waited all week long for it to not be raining to go walk over here into the woods. We got clippers and gather greenery and it's finally not raining this morning but it's supposed to rain this afternoon so I gotta hurry and get some and I'm gonna try and like kind of cut it into pieces and get it ready to go onto the tables tomorrow morning um, we're gonna go and decorate in the morning he's gonna go tonight with two other guys and myself to set up the tables and get that part done um, and then I'll go in the morning. He's gonna have to go to work tomorrow. Snip some of those branches, they're glow. Yeah, I, I just go to anything here. Um, this is how close we are to the woods. Let me just, can't get you a street sign, but like, you just saw how, that's, that's as far as we are to the woods. Like this is nothing, no one owns this. Well, the city probably does, but. Um, so now we just try and get as close as we can. It's actually easier down there on the road, over there. Um, but you can't even, some might say this is stealing. <laughs> what are we getting? What do we, like, what do they need to look like? Okay, I gotta go help him, but I'll show you what we're doing along the way. It's over the barrier. It's gotta be trimmed. <laughs> so we're getting little pieces like this, and it's actually dry. As much as yeah. it's been, yeah, I know, but like it's, it's not soaking wet. But this is the size piece that I'm having him cut off. And if he can cut them right like that, oops, I'll grab it. Um, then I won't have to go back through all the bunches. Um, when I come and do it by myself, I just grab big, huge branches. And then I have to take it home and like pull it apart. But if we can work together and like just do these little ones, I can just bag them up and then we can take them straight to the church tomorrow. So that'd be fantastic. Love all your loving support, honey. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I gotta put the camera down. He really is gonna kill me. <laughs> I gotta actually help him. We got a bunch of this kind, and then you want to flip it over and show the other kind. Turn it over, oh. and then lay it I think down. It up too much. Then I got also that kind. See how they're different? The evergreen kind. Yep. I so guess they're all evergreen if they're still green now. And you can't even tell we made a dent in any of it. Fantastic. If I was doing like a Hawaiian theme, this one would be really pretty to do. Is it more Hawaiian looking? Well, yeah, yeah, that one is right there. If I was doing like a, you know, Hawaiian Christmas party. You had to fake party. the Hawaiian foliage. Yeah. That would be better. Yeah. Okay. That task has been bugging me all week because I couldn't come out in the rain or I didn't want to come out in the rain. I'm glad to get that checked off my list. Do you have more paperwork to do or do you need, can we, do you want to run errands? Uh, I have lots of paperwork to print today. <sighs> well, well, what errands do you want to run? P.O. Box. Um, bank. Bank. Um, 
It'll I'm antsy because I can't do anything with my videos. So start learning how to clean the computer. Okay, I'm not gonna. Faster. I'm not gonna talk to you. Oh, <laughs> what? Solve your problem? Because I'm not a computer science person. I... I don't know how to clean out my cache. I'm not gonna learn how to do that. Okay. Okay, we are out running errands, stopping really quick to do a Christmas present. Um, and we got one cover up their address, pack letter in the mail from one of you to Abby, which is very sweet of you. But I wanna know what you guys think of the etiquette with um, packages to pick up. This was in my P.O. box. Do I skip the line? I'm wondering, do I skip sometimes, the line? Sometimes or... you have people that come out and say, are you just picking up a package from your box or whatever? I know. And then they're like, okay, give me your thing. And they go and they get them and bring them to you. I've seen them come out like that. Yeah, but I don't want to wait. I don't have time right now to wait in the line. And I just felt guilty walking up to the front because the other day I came to get the package. Um, I don't remember. It was... I don't remember who it was. It was a whole bunch of stuff that was in like a bigger box than mine has, is available for. And um, there was a, a line out the door. It was so long and I could not get the key to work for the bigger box that they put my stuff in. So not my PO box, but like the larger ones. I couldn't get my key to work. And so I went and asked if there was anyone to help and they're like, no, no one's here to help you. Or the person, we have an extra person that like she just left. And, um, and then I will just come help you. And I was standing there in the middle of this sea of people waiting in this super long line. And they just, I guess maybe it is, uh, they have to help people who were, I don't know. More paying customer. Well, I am a paying customer. I pay for my PL box and yeah. I should be able to get access to my packages. I guess that's why I should think about it. Like I've already paid for the service. People are in line because they haven't paid yet. <laughs> I don't know. It's a tough thing. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to go back later, hopefully when it's not as busy, but we just have places to go right now on a time crunch. I'll explain that here in a yeah. second. Also, a thank you to Lydia. She sent me a digital um, gift certificate today. We're in Jason's car because mine is filled with stuff for our Christmas party and we didn't want to drive around with it. Um, she sent me a digital uh, gift card for Crumble. So I don't know if that would be like awful to do for Abby right now when she can't technically eat the cookies. She's starting to like put food that will kind of dissolve. She tried M&M's yesterday. <laughs> How'd that go? Well, because it just melts in your mouth. She just like sticks it in there um, and then lets it melt and then she can swallow it. So I think I'll wait a couple weeks before I get the crumble cookies um, before <laughs> I tempt her. Because it'd be really mean to like, the cookies are for her and for her to not be able to eat them. All right, we just made a Christmas purchase that was absolutely free and the person is not expecting it. Those are the best Christmas presents to get. And I can't show you the store that's behind us or else it'll be a dead giveaway. So, all right, what is next? Oh, let me tell you. Okay, so we're gonna head back over to the PO box again. We have time before our next appointment. Let me get it out of my purse. We were asking the guy in there, and he was like, you know what, this is kind of like, um, like Target pickup or in-store purchase, like when you do an online order. He's like, those customers get priority when they come to the store. There's probably a line for people to purchase things inside Target, but the people who are doing Target pickup outside get first service because they've already bought and paid for their products. So that's my motivation to run in skip the line and I know who this package is from it's from Michelle one of you guys and I, I want to get the package because it has stuff for Abby in it and I think that could make her day today and uh, along with the other um, two gift cards and and card that we got today for her so see if I get the package okay we had to rush home um, but we were able to get the package Oh, yeah, I yeah, I'm not going to take this with us. What? Here, take that and put it in the garage. We'll open that later. That'll be good for later, given what I'm about to tell you. But we're in a rush. All right, so while I was um, getting that package from the post office, Abby um, texted me 
um, and she wasn't doing good at all. Um, I don't really know what, if there's like a problem necessarily, or if she kind of just felt extra good the past day and a half, and then to kind of revert back and have pain and swelling again, well, shocked her. Feeling something with your tongue in your mouth? It always feels like way... Well, the numbing is gone from the inside of her mouth now. And so she's feeling the internal retainer that's hooked to her jaw. And she's feeling she's like every stitches. little thing. And so it's really irritating her. And so now it hurts to eat things. Even just drinking liquids, it's hurting her. And so I'm trying to judge whether there's something wrong. She said that every time she moves her mouth, it clicks. I don't know what that click is or if that's normal. So I've got, we rushed home, went and got her some fat food. Sorry, battery died. I look so lovely today. Um, so I have two messages into her surgeon. I'm just asking him about the click, about this like foreign object in her mouth. He's replying back to me. I love her doctor. I'm literally getting messages back. Um, so let me follow up with him really quick, hang on. All right, so um, I've just been texting with the doctor's nurse, um, kind of trying to figure things out, how to help her, whatnot. Um, but we are rushing to our appointment. I'm getting my computer looked at, I'm trying to see if there's like a problem with my RAM memory. This is my third computer. It's an issue YouTubers have um, just because of the the data that's used. So I'm just gonna go get that checked out. Um, but part of Abby's, I think she just gets overwhelmed and kind of had a little bit of a meltdown. Um, part of her frustration is she's bored and doesn't like not being productive. She's like me. And so she wants something to do from bed um, that makes her feel like she's doing something. And our little, I don't know, like our emotional hearts so we're gonna go get her Legos. <laughs> um, you got her something, didn't you? Did someone else give her that little, where did that paper, other thing? The paper thing. Is it a paper origami type thing? Yeah, ladies from work, and she looked at it, she's, she's like, I think that will take me like weeks. So like, yeah, it was a little too but complicated. she wants to be in bed. Yeah. And later on, that'll be perfect. Yeah, right now but, she's really stuck in bed and tired, but wants to tinker with something. She watches shows on her phone all the, all day, and so she doesn't necessarily want to move. Um, you know, I suggested I would bring up my my desktop screen, and she can watch movies from the screen, the bigger screen from her own bed. Um, she's like, I'll think about that. Um, I think she just wants something to do something. She's used to like doing an art project, working on school, working on you know, like she's used to doing, and it's hard for her to like sit still. So we're gonna go see what the Lego store has. Um, and I'm going to look at my, getting my computer bags. We made sure she was fine with us leaving. We didn't just like leave her high and dry. And Kaylee is there for another two hours and Chelsea is getting there any minute. So that's why we're kind of rushed. We wanna go get this taken care of um, and get her some Legos to hang out with today. Um, and then just be home for the night. Um, need to go with you. Well, 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 we'll get to that point. We have to go set up the chairs and tables for our um, party tomorrow, but we'll see how Abby's doing later tonight. Meanwhile, it's finally a beautiful day in the Northwest, and <laughs> I don't feel like I can enjoy it, but it's nice to, to drive without the rain, that's for sure. Yeah, someone can't get a new laptop, but you're pretty addicted to look, playing at this. Oh yeah, someone was giving me a lot of grief about, oh, I think it's, you can't get a new laptop. All right, are you hungry? Yes. We'll explain what we're gonna do next. Two minutes ago, you were grumping because you were so hungry, and when are we gonna be done here? I can't steer, I can't figure out how to steer. Should I go find food without you? They have our computer. Um, he's doing a factory reset on it because there might be a whole lot of stuff going on in the background getting in the way of big app I need to use on a daily basis. So he's going to do that factory reset while we go find something to eat. 
And then we're gonna go to the Lego store and find Abby some Legos. Just didn't want it to take this long because I want to get home to her, but we are still talking to the surgeon and the nurse and trying to figure out who needs to get around Santa's workshop right here. We are long past the days of coming to Santa's workshop. I don't even think it is. We haven't come for years. No one, no one really cares anymore. Plus, I never bought the photo. So. Um, but the problem is we're getting these Legos for Abby to do and occupy herself in bed and she would have those ones done in a half hour and then she wouldn't have anything to do but there's one down here that we really want to get that I really want to get and I, I would take it apart and redo it again myself and Jason would take it apart himself and redo it but we just are frugal spenders and we're just gulping at the price so we're just not sure what to do because we're we're not spenders like this I mean it may look like we are because we have two Teslas but <laughs> we're just anyway and he's having a hard time because he would much rather get this tractor well I'd get the tractor or like the remote control truck it's cheaper. Or any of the sports cars. But a house full of girls. <laughs> not so much. I convinced him to buy a very large <laughs> Lego set for Abby. Because my mom heart got in the way. I may or may not have started crying trying to convince him <laughs> to get this Lego set. Because I just, I feel bad. Any of the little sets that we get for her to do, she'll be done with them in like 10 minutes. So you'd have to buy multiple sets, or go to Costco and see if they're cheaper, but you'd have to get multiple in order for her to have something to do for the next couple weeks. <laughs> so we got one that she'll be occupied with. Just had a higher. Take a while, then we're gonna take it apart. Yep. We're gonna keep it all by itself, and then if uh, like Kaylee and Jacob wanna make it, they can The doctor's kind of worried about that. Fun. Ignore the police car. Um, I came down here yesterday. Um, uh, we'll show you the other side of the mall, like the, the street side. It's actually called Snowflake Lane. Actually, we won't be driving through it, but it's all lit like this. And then they do a big performance at seven o'clock every night during the holidays, and it's quite festive. We don't come anymore because the kids are just too old. But I came down here yesterday with a friend of mine who um, needed to be taken to the hospital down here. And so we came through here right about this same time. And so we're trying to like remember oh, yeah. what traffic 
what way to go to avoid traffic, but we're gonna race home. We have like a bajillion things to do. Um, some for Abby to get her medication. Her doctor has prescribed some um, stronger pain meds to help her. Still waiting to hear back if he's concerned about her face and how swollen it is. Let me show you the street side here. See, it's just pretty. It's just really pretty in the night, in the holiday season or whatever. So you can see all the snowflake um, lights that they have lining the street there. And then they all the buildings lining this street here have like extra like colors that change. The blues and the green right now, but then it changes to red and something or something else. It's just really pretty. I I can't even comprehend how emotional and um, stressful this day has been. Um, we have been home for a little while. I went, we came home from the mall, dropped, grabbed Ashley. I grabbed Ashley and took her to a friend's house, which is where I'm going to get her from now, along with the friend. They're coming with us to the church to go set up the tables and chairs for a Christmas party. And then that friend is coming back to our house until 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. <laughs> Cause that, her mom is working tonight. And she's like, I would love for her to just stay in late and have a party and not a party, just hang out which is helpful for us to keep her occupied because we just have enough on our plates right now. Um, I need to turn that defrost on. Um, oh, that's too noisy. That's too noisy. Um, so I have to get far enough, Jason's in his car behind me, but I have to get far enough away from him to not have our phones sync to each other's cars so I can call him and give him an update from the doctor, which I just got. It's just the on-call surgeon that does the same type of thing as our surgeon does. So he has read through Abby's file and all the messages that we've been doing back and forth with the nurses um, tonight. And um, he has kind of reassured us that we're doing all the right things. I went ahead and preemptively upped Abby's dose on her Tylenol, I think because I just needed her to not be in pain. Which he then said, yes, go ahead, up that dose. That's totally fine, then go ahead and up, do up the dose on the ibuprofen as well, which was reassuring. Um, and then was definitely okay with the Oxy when we need to use the Oxy for breakthrough pain because of her metabolism. But he also reassured us that the, um, she has this, a clicking sound in her jaw and then there's something loose that clicks and she has to put it into place in the back of her mouth and that's concerning. <laughs> and he said it's likely a bracket or a tooth that isn't in fact in place because we've taken everything apart. Um, he said again, that one is fine, it's just alarming. <laughs> it's just, there's a lot going on in there that we don't understand and so we don't know what's right and what's wrong or harmful. Um, and so, and then the swelling, this should be the peak of her swelling. So we have to watch it over the weekend and then we'll go from there. So we're heading to the church to get set up. Turn off well, the lights over there. they turned off my lights, but this is the progress we've made. I'll show you more tomorrow. We got so much help tonight that we went ahead and started to decorate. I was only gonna get the tables on, but Look how cute it's gonna be. It's not done yet, we're gonna decorate more, but 200 people and a tree, we're gonna do more tomorrow. But for that, I say good night. It's been a long day. Okay, really quick, um, we're gonna open our package from Michelle, I forgot about this. It's been a long day. Um, wait, let me show, let me show. Yeah, these are little um, sunflowers that she knit. So cute. She knit this, wow. Yeah, or crocheted, yeah. A lot of the stuff, oh. So you got some of these last year. You got, look at them, they're so cute. The little snowman. Isn't that so cute? So everyone has the snowman. They're so cute. Okay. And that's for Abby. She can open that later. Oh, there's, is it a little sticker? Is that for you? Oh, that's for mine. 
gift. Mm -hmm. Wishing you all a blessed Christmas and happy new year. This box is filled with gifts for Abby since her holidays will be extra challenging this year. May you find joy in seeing her open them and share in her fun. Super cute. Awesome. <gasps> oh, what am I cute? Oh, <laughs> That's Chelsea. <laughs> no, but they're for Abby. All they're all, uh, most of it is for Abby. Leggy frog with fabulous eyes. I made this simple leggy frog, sorry, with fabulous eyes and a V-shaped smile to encourage you as you begin your healing process. His arms are outstretched to offer a hug if you need one. He sits well on a shelf as long as his back is well support, well, well is supported. Yeah. yeah. So cute. I have this. That's oh, a needle felt. Yeah. Oh, where you poke it? You have to ask Abby. Because that could be something she could do. You want to let her do it? Cool. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, my cute. That's so cute. It's soft. So soft. That is so cute. Okay, I'm not going to reread this, but she said that she sent her a kalimba. That is so cool. Oh, my God. I love these. It has, it probably has a book that's so like cool. Like a, like a oh, little like yeah. how to. Oh, cool. yeah. That is so cool. So she sent all these warm fuzzy socks for her. Oh my goodness. So cute. She also sent me, is it the Minnesota bag? Actually? Yeah. She sent me the Trader Joe's bag. Oh, is this a like a diffuser? Wow. Oh my gosh. This is, this is too, too much. Tired. And then that's the oil. Yeah. Orange. I, I love orange scent. Cool. Yeah. Okay, what's in this really one? Good. Ready? Sorry, Ellie. This is probably like <laughs> <laughs> Ashley's friend is over there waiting for us. <laughs> oh my cute. So cute. Oh, how cute. Oh, cute stickers. Good vibes. So, this is too much. Yeah. This is insane. Also, forgot to reveal. This is the Lego kit we got. Abby. And for the family. We're, we're going to let the family do it after she's done it. But this was our compromise to not getting a Star Wars one for Dad. Right, Ash? Because he wanted a Star Wars one, but I thought you were gonna get. I think flowers. this is a good compliment. No, I know we were gonna get flowers, but she'd be done with the flowers within minutes, <laughs> probably, but within a half hour. So, anyway, now we're officially saying goodnight to you guys. Take care.